Hello loves, 2016 is coming to a close in a few days. Before you know it, it will be 2017. Here are a few things I do before the new year sets in between the Christmas and New Year's lull. the best ways to feel like you've accomplished something and it costs a little of nothing is getting rid of accumulated stuff. Well, this is a perfect time to do it. The love between the Christmas and the New Year to set your home straight and to make progress in decluttering. I always start with my Christmas decor first. It's easier to start here during the end of the holidays when I take down and store the Christmas items. I can easily see where I can purge what I don't use or have an excessive amount of one item. I'll either give it away or donate it, or if it's in bad condition, throw it away. Another Christmas item that gets a lot of clutter is Christmas cards or birthday cards and might as well say anniversary cards. This is the most difficult to get rid of because it has a sentimental value attached to it. Christmas cards, I use them on DIY projects as ornaments, present tags, or framed art. But for birthday and anniversary cards, I only keep them for one year. Anything previous to that is thrown out. I know, I know. We all love to keep our spouses and children cards. If you must, streamline your collection. Keep them in an album or a scrapbook. I started dabbling into making my own DIY cleaning products earlier of this year. But for 2017, I'll be trying to go green for 80% of my cleaning products. Here are a few that I'll be starting with. To keep a stock of DIY products on hand, I make a large quantity and, and put them in glass containers to use as refills when I need it. This should last about a year. If you're interested in the recipe, see the description box below. And finally, I get ready for the new year by restocking my essentials, household, and grocery items. My basic essentials list is located in my daily desktop workbook. These lists contain my essentials to cleaning my home, personal items we need on a daily basis, and basic food essentials I keep on hand for cooking. That would do it, my friends. These are my top things that I do to prepare for the coming new year. You can create your own annual New Year preparations for your home. Every year, we make our New Year's vow to lose weight, save money, keep contact with family, and so on. Why not make a resolution for your home? Get a jump start to the coming New Year. See you on the next video, my friends. Smooches!